Okay, this is the M1 paper from June 2024. It's question number seven. And if we have a look at it, we can see this is a vectors question, in particular, vector equation of a line. Uh, let's read through it because it's quite a bit to get through. It says, uh, in this question, we've got two speedboats, A and B, which are moving with constant velocity. A is going 40 kilometers an hour due east. B is going 20 kilometers an hour at a bearing. So it tells me this is a bearing angle alpha. Alpha is between 0 and 90 where tan alpha is equal to 4 over 3, it tells me that both uh, boats are modelled as particles, but then part A is a relatively straightforward one, it says, can we find, in terms of I and J, the velocity of B? So I won't worry about all the rest of it, there's a lot of other information there, but let's just get part A done. So part A, first of all, it tells me what alpha is. So if it tells me that tan alpha is equal to 4 over 3, I can draw a quick diagram here, and say with tan alpha is 4 over 3, that's opposite over adjacent. Using Pythagoras, that's 5, or you could just know the 3, 4, 5 triangle. But what that means then is I can work out what sine alpha is, opposite over hypotenuse, that's going to be 4 over 5. And what cos alpha is, adjacent over hypotenuse, 3 over 5. So now let's look at the information that they told me. They said... Um, for A, it's traveling 20 kilometers an hour on a bearing of alpha. So let's have a look at that then. If it's 20 kilometers an hour on that bearing, what we'll do, we'll have a north line, and we'll say, okay, it's on that bearing there where that's equal to alpha. Well, if this is 20 kilometers an hour now here, what I can do is I can say, right, if I just drop this down and this across here, if it's going like that, then this also is alpha, but what it means is that the J component is gonna be 20 cos alpha, and the I component is gonna be 20 sine alpha. So the velocity of this is gonna be 20 sine alpha I, and then 20 cos alpha J. Working those out, that's 20, what was sine alpha? 4 fifths I and 20 3 fifths J. Well, that tidies up to 16 I plus 12 J. So part A, can we find the velocity of that one? Yeah, absolutely we can. We've done that uh, right there. Part B then, well, gives us all this new information here, all these things. So it tells me that A starts off at 20J, B starts off at 10I plus 5J, and then tells me the position vector of A, it tells me R, that's given by 20I plus 40TJ. Yeah, I, I would have been able to work that out for myself if I hadn't. But it asks me for the position vector, it's calling it S, but what's the position vector S at that situation? Let's just show you how they worked out A and then do B. We're just using the idea then again of vector equation of a line. So what do we mean by the vector equation of a line is R equals R naught plus VT. Well, where does that come from? We'll be told that our object is at a certain position, R naught, and then we'll also be told the velocity or the direction of the velocity. So we know that it's going with V here, V again, and so on. What we actually want is R. This is the R that we want. We want the general position. Where is it at any stage? Well, looking at that vector there, it's gonna be, if I wanna know how I get there, I go R naught plus V plus two V plus three, well, plus how many Vs? plus t lots of v, two hours, three hours, four hours. So that's a quick explanation of where r equals r naught plus vt comes from. And we're going to be applying that to the situation that we've got. So what do we have? They told me, just go back and have a quick look at that information, where a is, where b is, what the velocities are. It told me that a starts off at 20j. So 20j is there, isn't it? 20 naught, that's where 20j would be here. That vector there is 20j if I wanted, I'm not gonna put it in, but if I wanted to put that in, that's the vector 
20J there, and it's told me also that it's going due east. Well, if it's going due east then, that's going with a velocity of 40i straight across there. What about B? Uh, B told me where it started off from. So it told me it started off at 10i plus 5j. So you can either call that 10,5 or you can call that vector 10i plus 5j. That's in effect gonna be my r naught in a minute when I start working this out. And it then told me it was heading with a speed a velocity of 16i plus 12j. So if I want to work out what um, the general um, s in this case, s is going to be, or r equals r0 plus vt, will give me s equals r0, well in this case that's 10i plus 5j, where do we start off from? Plus vt, so plus 16i plus 12j, times t. So that's my S, that, that's the answer, that is the correct answer. All I'm going to do, because of previous questions we look at, is I'm just going to tidy this up and actually write it. Uh, 10i plus 5j, and then that's 16ti and 12tj, so that I can actually write it to how many i's and how many j's. I've got 10 plus 16ti, and I've got 5 plus 15 excuse me, 5 plus 12t j, and that's the one that I'm going to actually use with the rest of the question uh, when we're doing it. So, what's that part done? Show that at time t hours afternoon, a, b is given by this vector here. So, what do we mean by that? Well, what we're saying is, this is where a is, and this is where b is, and that generally as these things move along, that will move a little bit further along there, that will move a little bit further along there. We'll have a new AB, a new AB, a new AB. But I want a general version for AB. Well, what I always tell my students to do, which this is part C, isn't it? Part C is I say, if I want AB, AB is going to be B minus A. So in this case, the position vector of um, B minus the position vector of A, that's always true. So given what we're given here, A, B is just gonna be S minus R. Well, what are those two? S we just found was 10 plus 16 T I plus five plus 12 T J. And R we had previously, they gave us that was 20 J and 40 T I minus all of that, just be careful when you're doing that. Right, I can work out what that's gonna be then. So that's gonna be, uh, are we trying to prove it? Sorry, let's just go back and see. Yeah, because we're trying to prove it, maybe do an extra step to this um, when we're looking at it, but I've got that this is going to be 10 plus 16t plus, I'm oh, sorry, minus 40t, I, and then with the J's, it's going to be 5 plus 12T minus 20J. So when we're working that out then, that works out to be 10 minus 24T I, and that's 12T minus 5 if I do that J. Put that extra step in simply because we were, we were proving something there, so just wanted to give an extra line in there. And it now says, show that the boats will never collide. Now you've got lots of different ways of doing this. What you could do is try and put the two uh, position vectors equal to each other and see that they equate and it won't work. But purely because they've already done this part for me, I think they're leading me down the path of saying, well, if that's the AB, if I can show that the minimum value of AB is greater than zero, if I can show the length is greater than zero for the minimum, then they won't collide because they won't actually hit, will they? They should actually hit if they're, um, the, the distance between them should be zero if they're gonna collide. So that's the way that I'm gonna do it. There are alternative ways to do this one. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, find the minimum value for 
AB, or rather for the length of AB. Well, what is the length of AB? The length of AB is pretty standard. You should have done this quite a few times if you've been um, revising and going through all these questions. This should have come up quite a few times. Is going to be using Pythagoras. So it's just that squared, or that squared, square rooted. Right, you take a little bit of time over this. I've already pre-done this question, so um, I've already calculated this, but if you need to, just don't make a mistake with this where you're trying to rush through and get this done. The first one works out to be 100 minus 480t plus 576 squared. The other one is 144t squared minus 120t plus 225. So you'll just take, sorry, handwriting there. You'll just take a little bit more time over doing that and again right that tidies up then to be 720t squared minus 600t plus 325 so if i want the minimum value of that again there's a couple of different ways of working out the minimum value of that you could uh, complete the square on it what I'm going to do if I want to find the minimum value of this is I'm going to find how do I find the minimum value of the bit inside the square root so for minimum of 720t squared minus 600t plus 325 and I tend to stick with this method every single time when I'm doing one of these questions I just do the differential will be equal to naught Okay, differentiate makes it find maximums and minimums, doesn't it? So, um, differential is going to be 1440t. Sorry, it's this that I'm differentiating up here. So, multiply by the power, take them off the power. Minus 600. Come with a pen there. That will work out to be equal to naught. If that works out to be equal to naught, rearrange all that and we'll get that t works out to be equal to 5 over 12. And what I want to do is to plug that back in. I want to find the distance there. So minimum AB is going to be the square root of, putting that in, so that was 10 minus 24t, 5 over 12. It's that square, oops, excuse me. That squared plus, again, it's 12t, minus 15, that squared, and then just plug all that in. If you plug all that in, it works out to be root 100, which is really nice. So the minimum distance is 10, what is it, kilometers, miles? Um, 10 kilometers, sorry, not meters. So let's just make that clear to the examiner. If minimum AB is 10 kilometers, then they don't collide, do they? Then, oops, they do not collide. Okay, let's do part E. So part E is saying, find the distance between the boats when the bearing of B from A is 225 degrees. Okay, let's draw a quick diagram out for that. So. Again, this is a relatively standard, it's difficult, but it's, uh, they use this idea quite a bit. The, the bearing of um, that one is 225, that's going to be like that. If that's all 225 here, then that angle there is 45 degrees. If that angle there is 45 degrees, so we have this situation, then... Let's just go through and work out AB was 10 minus 24TI and 12T minus 15J. Well, what we can say is if it's anywhere on that line there, imagine what these vectors are. You're either going to be over here where Y is equal to X all the way through or even down here, you're going to be where minus y is equal to minus x. So if we have that situation from the diagram, what I can say is that that will occur when 10 minus 24t is equal to 12t minus 15. You might need to go back and look at that again to be able to work out what I've done there. 
and look at other questions that we've done. This then simplifies out quite nicely. We get that 36t works out to be equal to 25. So t works out to be 25 over 36. That's not what they want. They want the distance. So that's now just putting that back into the formula for the distance. So 10 minus 24 lots of 25 over 36 plus 12 25 over 36 minus 15 find what that works out to be it works out to be minus 20 over 3i minus 20 over 3j and then all I need to do is to work out the length of that vector so the length of that vector square root of minus 20 over 3 squared minus 20 over 3 squared and that all works out to be square root of 800 over 9 which works out to be 20 root 2 over 3. So really big question really lots of uh, stuff to go through there but uh, hopefully that all makes sense to you all.